Okay. So, here's the deal. It's Wednesday night. Uh, fifth performance of El Cruchible. Um, and I'm tired. And big news happening here at the Crucible. Uh, tonight is intro night, as well as high schools. There are high schoolers here, which means it should be a really, really captive, enthralled audience here. Uh, other big news going on in the world of the Crucible. Uh, one of our actors is out. Out. He is out of the show tonight. Um, he is sick. So our ASM, uh, Michael, is going on in limited, limited time. Uh, he is scared, logically. I, I would be. I mean, I don't know if he is. I'm, Michael, if you're watching this and you're not scared, you can yell at me later. Um, I just performed a no-no on screen, so now I'm caught and there's evidence. So I'm, I'm just gonna go. So, trying out a new look. Uh, as Casey, right here, put it. Uh, this is the pre-haircut Bieber with a beard look. Um, I think we have a guest to my this side. He's staying off camera. Apparently, he doesn't want to be filmed. And here he is. As you can see from the mask behind me, it is Nick Rookie petting me. Well, scene two is just, oh no. Scene two has just started, uh, which means Michael is about to get baptized by fire. God. Fire! God bless that boy. Uh, So, I have learned that our director, Jason, has caught wind of my video blogs and um, said that he was going to want to show them, or one of them, in his intro class. I don't know why, but Jason, if you're going to show one, show this one, because I'm going to talk about things that are relevant and important to students. So, The Crucible by Arthur Miller, winner of the 1953 Tony Award for Best Play. This exciting drama about the Puritan purge of witchcraft in Old Salem is both gripping historical play and a timely parable of our contemporary society. The story focuses on a young farmer, his wife, and a young servant girl who maliciously causes the wife's arrest for witchcraft. But if you read on Moodle, that, you know, could be real. The farmer brings the girl to court to admit the lie. But it might not be a lie, again. You never know. And it is here that the monstrous course of bigotry and deceit is terrifyingly depicted. The farmer, instead of saving his wife, finds himself also accused of witchcraft and ultimately condemned with a host of others. The New York Times states, a powerful drama. And the New York Daily Times news, strongly written. Let's see if there's any other historical tidbits in here. Um, Page one. The Crucible was first presented by Kermit Bloomgarden. Ooh, wonder if he was at Shabbos. 
At the Martin Beck Theater, New York City, on January 22nd, 1953. It was directed by Jed Harris. The scenery was designed by Boris Aronson. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, so there's your exciting historical tidbits of The Crucible by Arthur Miller. Reporting to you here from the front of Salem. Uh, this strap does nothing. Um, this was just chilling in the dressing room. I believe it's part of the White Christmas set. So, before Cheryl and Leslie get mad at me, I will tell them, and all of you watching at home, Cheryl and Leslie have decided they're going to start a business, and this is their first official plug. They're going to make a line of merchandise for toddlers in tiaras. So if anybody wants a their toddler to be in a tiara and be a little beauty queen pageant girl or boy, you know, all acceptable these days, contact Cheryl or Leslie for their Toddlers in Tiaras fashion line. That's right. It's time for fan mail. Sean has some fan mail. But there's only one piece, and it showed up today. Let's see here, there's a, it's, there we go. That's a little better. Uh, it says Sean, there's a smiley face and a little dog or something. So, dear Sean, I've seen you in the Crucible, White Christmas, and the Servant of Two Masters. By the way, Servant was your best part by far. Obviously, I didn't see Frog and Toad. I watched you a lot during the show. I came to see every performance just to see you. Uh, Hathorne is the best part in the show next to John Proctor in every part of the show. Oh, have to go. My friend is waiting to take me home. Break a leg tonight. I know you will. Love the frog under your bed. Uh, P.S. It gets kind of lonely down there. Please bring me some friends. Um, dear frog under my bed, I suggest getting some help. Because that's not healthy at all. Period. So, final word. Um, if this is indeed being shown in an intro class, Anthony Shingler, here's looking at you. Peace out.